Hey everybody, we just got done seeing Creed, the new spin-off of the Rocky franchise. And this film is centered around the son of Apollo Creed. Illegitimate son. The illegitimate son of uh, Apollo Creed and him wanting to become a boxer. And he decides to uh, pursue Rocky Balboa and to get him to become his personal trainer. So... Like Rocky Balboa, the, the sixth Rocky film that came out a while back, this film has been in talk for a very long time. Oh, really? But, but kind of like with Rocky Balboa, a lot of people thought, oh, it's just rumors. They'll, they'll never get it made. Mm -hmm. Well, they did eventually make a Rocky Six, and now they finally made a Creed spinoff. It was really good. Yeah. I really, really liked this movie. Mm -hmm. I um, This was, I think... I really like, I mean, I'm a big Stallone fan, but I think it was a good decision for Stallone to choose, for Stallone not to direct this film. I think yeah. it's a good move because this really is not a Rocky film. Mm -hmm. It's a Rocky spinoff. And it feels like that. And I say that in a good way. It's a good standalone film, but it's also a good... Um, tie-in. Yeah, it's a good tie-in to the Rocky franchise. It pleases both categories. It's grittier than the other Rocky films, but it works. It's realistic. It's, out of the two of them, I have to say this is definitely better than Southpaw, in my opinion. Yeah, Southpaw I was, still really liked Southpaw. I like Southpaw, too. It was yeah, a, it was Southpaw better. was a harder film. It was a grittier film, no doubt. But I think this was just a much better written and much better yeah, executed this film. Was, this was a complete thought. Yeah. From start to finish. <laughs> it was more, yeah, it was, it, there weren't plot holes or anything like that. Yeah. Um, lots of good references to the Rocky franchise. If Without you're Without being overbearing. Exactly. It's not shoehorned in. It's subtly placed there. And the boxing scenes, my gosh. Were fantastic. So beautifully directed. So intense. So well shot. I can't say enough good stuff about that. I think Michael B. Jordan did a fantastic job in the lead. Yeah. There's not really many complaints I have. And I'm I'm the biggest Rocky fan ever. I'm wearing a Rocky shirt right now. I love the Rocky films. And I was very skeptic when I first heard that this film was finally being made. And it really it really pleased me. So yeah. I I highly recommend it. Right. Say, Austin, I... Anything you want to say? I, I just wanted to bring up the, the joke that we brought up in the beginning. I thought that it was a really, really, really good drama based off the crappy writing of Rocky Four. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> taking the yeah. crappy yeah. writing of Rocky Four and making it into making taking those plot points and making it into a fantastic drama. <laughs> that this that that's really good on these writers. <laughs> it really is amazing what you can do after a long period of time. Like, I mean, Stallone has flat out said a big motivator for him to make Rocky Six was because Rocky V didn't turn out so well. And st that, that really bothered him for a long time. He he would bash Rocky V in, uh, like when he would go to like talk shows or be in interviews. He knew people did not like Rocky V, and he didn't like it either. And a big motivator to make Rocky Balboa was to make a better closing to the Rocky series. And as much as I love Rocky IV the, in its own twisted way yes it is not a good film <laughs> it is the most 80s movie ever made and i love every second of it I mean, you know, but like, it's such but a, it's not a good rocky it is a know. crazy crazy jumping the shark it is one of the most it has to be one of the most jumping the shark sequels of all time <laughs> and i feel like yeah i feel like creed the biggest problem with rocky 4 as a serious rocky fan is that it really did it literally killed Apollo Creed, and it literally and it really did make him like go out in a very uh, embarrassing way. And so, for them to take that and turn it into a positive with this drama, See, as that, you said, like, like there was like one of the most shining moments of that for me was you know during one of the very powerful scenes between you know him and and Rocky, where he said you know well, you killed my you know family, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, and I was like, that's really powerful, you know, and stuff, but. You know, it was so campy when he died. You know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> well, and during yeah, the... Yeah, he did kill your dad because he didn't throw in that towel. And during the final <laughs> fight, they briefly, for like three seconds, show like a black and white flashback of Apollo's fight with Ivan Drago. But there's like no focus on Ivan Drago. It's just focused on Apollo. And that that's totally cool. But I just... <laughs> 
I was like, oh, we don't want to see Dolph Lundgren in this draw. <laughs> we don't want to see 80s Soviet Union Dolph Lundgren and Bridget Nielsen. We don't want to see Stallone's ex-wife in this film. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that that is pretty hilarious. Yeah, I... it's, not, it's not just hilarious, though. It's, holy it's crap. true. It's amazing. <laughs> they pulled a miracle. They really did. They it's it's one of those amazing things. And, you know, this this movie does prove. Um, as as easy as it is sometimes to make fun of films like Well Rocky Four or Cobra or Judge Dredd, um, Stallone really can be a fantastic actor when mm-hmm. he's at his A game, and this is one of his. I mean, he got he has he, that Rocky character down fa- so great. I loved his performance in this film. Yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was fantastic. Yeah. yeah, he really just he. It's amazing that a guy, I mean, he's, he's turning 70 soon. It's amazing that a guy like that can just go back into the Rocky character just like that. And it's not just the fact that he's played Rocky for so long. He just, when he, he really... is Rocky. Yeah, when he's really focused, he can give an Oscar-worthy performance. And, you know, again, it's he, he's done a lot of, you know, B-movies, a lot of dumb action films over the years, some of which I've loved, some of which not so much. But movies like this... And like Copland and First Blood, they're they're proof that this guy really is a great actor, mm-hmm. and he is fantastic. And he and Michael B. Jordan had great chemistry. Together. Oh my goodness! Yeah. They were a great uh, couple together uh, on screen. They they were just a great pairing. And I actually really liked the love interest in this yeah, film. Yeah. I actually she was really annoying in the beginning, but then, but then when, she turned like, out to be cool know, when they actually explained her backstory and stuff. I, mm-hmm. I liked her. Yeah, they they had chemistry and <laughs> and uh and for anybody to argue like oh but don't you think it was a little rushed and, and awkward dude rocky made a move on adrian on their first date and it was like <laughs> the most awkward first date ever because this girl does not talk at all and he and she's so shy she has this abusive drunk brother that she lives with rocky <laughs> takes her out ice skating on thanksgiving no one's there he does not skate he just walks on the ice with her he spends the whole date just talking about himself and fighting forces her back to his apartment strips down to a tank top corners her and then kisses her i'm pretty sure <laughs> apollo creed's son <laughs> Was way took his time way better than Rocky did with Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one other thing I want to say that I want to compliment is that uh, the rival boxer in this film. I don't know who the actor is, but he is fantastic. He was really good in this film. He was intimidating. He was he was great at talking trash. And in the final fight between him and Creed, you really do feel like this guy is an unstoppable monster mm-hmm. in the ring. Mm-hmm. And so they did. And that also has to do with how well the, the action scenes were choreographed and directed. But yeah, all in all, really good film. I highly recommend it. Mm-hmm. Do you think they're going to make sequels? You know... I thought about it. I I feel like this left off at a point where they don't have to. They don't have to, but they really didn't have to with Rocky Balboa either. So it's like I'm yeah, I'm perfectly okay with them ending it here. If they ended it here, that would be great. I if they do want to make another one, I'll go see it, of course. Yeah, it can be um, about Ivan Drago. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it can be about Mr. T. But <laughs> But it could be about the robot from Rocky IV. But um, yeah, I, I would be. I I, I kind of hope you know it's it's time to put this to rest, like the Rocky yeah. franchise, all in all. Well, I mean, you know, Stallone's about to go to rest. So. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> it would kill him to hear that right now. I, I know, but like I I I leaned over to Sebastian. You know, I, I don't want to spoil anything about what happens in the movie, but I I leaned over to Sebastian. And I was like, wow. Those makeup artists are amazing. They actually made Sylvester Stallone look older. Know how <laughs> right? <they're bad>. Yeah. <laughs> and I said that they probably just actually made him look young for the rest they, of the movie. Actually, all they did was they probably just... <laughs> this is so mean. I love you, Stallone, if you're listening. Uh, <laughs> like, they, they, yeah, he's actually... I will listen to this movie. Oh, oh, <laughs> but they probably just... They probably just washed out the... Uh, the old man hair dye that he has in his hair oh, normally. No. They just wash that out so it's just his natural hair. Oh, God. <laughs> he's going to wash this. He's going to come to your He's going to go find me. He's like, I'm going to get Jason Statham over there. <laughs> Knock this kid out. I'm too old to do it myself. <laughs> you betrayed the law. Law. You betrayed the law. Law.
I love you. Okay. <laughs> 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 we ruined it. Go we... tell your father. So we good. <laughs> Gosh, dude. So Creed was really good, everybody. <laughs> go see it. Yeah, go see yeah, Creed. Go see it.